The Guam Contractors Association sat down for their monthly meeting yesterday in a relatively optimistic mood. Despite the ongoing delay in the military buildup, Association President James Martinez says island contractors are not doing too bad. PNC's Kevin Kerrigan with that story. The Dusitani, the new medical city hospital, Naval Hospitals Edition, the Guam Museum, and, it seems, every other day a groundbreaking. Despite the fact that the military buildup seems on terminal hold, Guam Contractors Association President James Martinez is smiling. I think currently we're experiencing a healthy uh, construction uh, economic boom, if, if you want to call it that. The construction business, an industry fraught with uncertainty, subject to the whims of Mother Nature, hypersensitive to the fluctuations in interest rates and federal spending. But yes, Martinez says, times are not only not bad, they're pretty good right now. Did you say healthy economic boom? For, uh, for now, yes. I mean, currently we're, we've got a lot of projects out there. There's a lot of uh, contractors that are doing work, uh, both uh, military-type uh, work as well as civilian-type work, and a lot of residential um, uh, work that's being done you know, right now. There is no question, says Martinez, that the recent announcement of yet another delay in the buildup until 2020 was a blow to the island's construction industry. But... Naturally, contractors are disappointed that uh, it's been delayed once again, um, but, but certainly it's not a doomsday for us. That's because there's enough work coming in from the private sector and non-build-up military projects to take up the slack. We're healthy. Um, I think there is a, I mean, maybe, I don't know if I should call it a boom, but we are uh, in a healthy mode right now. Um, what we'll see, yeah, uh, hopefully last uh, at least through uh, 2014 and going into 2015. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.